Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pammy and on here I'm reviewing all things clean beauty. So thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. Now today is going to be so so exciting you guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new foundation by Kia Weiss. We're also going to be doing somewhat of a full face by Kia Weiss. I mean, I do have a couple of products that I really truly love and that I want to put on my face and some other products by Kia Weiss where I'm just like, nah, that did not work out for me. So I'm just going to use some other products as well today. And I wanted to dive into the Tiny Marvels palette again today to create a beautiful look with that because I did not pick up any single pan eyeshadows by Kia Weiss. So if you don't know anything about Kia Weiss, I'm just gonna try and explain you a little bit the basics how Kia Weiss works. So Kia Weiss is a clean brand. Um, they are using a lot of organic derived ingredients. They are cruelty free. However, you guys, they are very unvegan. That's one thing I really did want to mention though, there's a lot of carmine in products by Kia Weiss, so a lot of vegans or even vegetarians cannot access this makeup. Me personally, I am using only their vegetarian products, so I did not pick up any products with carmine. I'm really trying to avoid carmine, so it was a little bit more difficult with this brand to actually find products that don't contain carmine. I mean, carmine is in pretty much all of their blush shades. It's pretty much, in, it's in their powder bronzer. Um, it's in all of their lip products. And uh, I mean, for the eyeshadows, I couldn't even be bothered anymore I just you know it's just like whatever we're just gonna pass on these single pants and I'm gonna use the tiny Marvels eyeshadow palette instead now Kia Weiss is a very expensive brand um, it's definitely on the luxurious side if I look at the price tags I'm like wow we're definitely talking about luxurious clean beauty here so the initial investment in this brand is actually going to be a little bit pricier but just keep in mind, it's gonna definitely be a little bit less expensive if you continue using the packaging that you only purchase once and then you start buying refills. It's definitely gonna lower the cost. Now with Kia Wise and their packaging, you do have some interesting options here. Now for each product, you can go with the iconic edition. That's the most expensive edition, the most expensive packaging. It's all this metal packaging right here that you just slide open, feels very heavy or you can also get the red edition the red edition is the paper edition that you can refill two to three times i do think you could do more refills than that i don't know why they say it's actually only good for two to three times i have no idea but this is uh, the other packaging option the red edition and you can also just uh, simply just buy a refill pan, put the refill pan into a bigger palette and you'll be all sorted. And talking about bigger palettes, they actually do offer, I think it's called Makeup Collector's Kit. So you do have like a whole kit that you can fill in with pans uh, the way you want. I think that's also a really cool option. Um, I unfortunately did not pick that option up because I wasn't sure how much I would use by this brand. But now in hindsight, I should have done that. That would have been a better option, most definitely. I'm also gonna be doing a wear test with this entire full face. So just expect at the end of the video, I'm gonna come back uh, at the end of my day and tell you all my thoughts about this product. Also, you guys, if you do enjoy clean beauty content, I would absolutely love to have you here. You just have to hit that subscribe button to be part of the clean beauty family on here. You can also ring the bell to stay notified about my upcoming uploads. And if you do enjoy this review at any point, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. Anyway, you guys, I don't want to hold you up any longer. So let's just go barefaced and let's review a full face by Kiwise. So you guys, I am barefaced right now and ready to prep and prime my face. Now, basically, I don't have the Kia Wise face oil, the one that they are recommending to prep your face with. I mean, I did not get that one. Plus, I don't really like prepping my face with any sort of facial oil before I apply makeup. So I'm just going to do what I've been doing the past weeks and I've been really enjoying this. Now I'm going to take the Cover FX Mattifying Booster Drops and I'm just going to apply this to the zones where my combination skin tends to get a little bit oily on me. So basically around here, around here and a little bit on my forehead usually. So I'm just going to apply that to these zones. 
So these drops really instantly mattify the face and they do a pretty nice job in actually controlling my oils. So I'm going to let that sink in. Usually it takes about one or two minutes. And then I'm just going to proceed with two primers. I'm going to use the blurring primer by Cover FX and I'm just going to put that basically where I kind of want to blur out some pores. So usually my pores are a little bit bigger around here. So I'm going to proceed with that blurring primer on that spot. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Ilia True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. This is one of my top, top, top primers in clean beauty. I love this so much. Basically, it's almost like a gripping primer, but it's not as sticky as a gripping primer is. It has this amazing serum texture. It's going to sink into your skin, but it's going to leave a little bit of a tacky film so that the makeup actually goes on pretty well. I mean, my pores are visibly blurred now. I really, really love this combination of these drops and this primer. I mean, it's just completely blurred, completely mattified. Wow. Okay, so for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Ilia primer. So my face is primed and prepped, so let's move on to the very first product by Kia Weiss. I bet you guys can't wait for this one. So let's move on to their new foundation. So this is the Invisible Touch Liquid Foundation and this retails for $48. I tried it out because I just wanted to know what I would get myself into with this foundation before recording a video, before showing you the foundation. I just really wanted to know what this was all about because honestly, this foundation really did trigger my interest because it's that serum foundation. And when I hear serum foundation, I'm like all in. I love a good serum foundation. I like something lightweight, something that still gives me coverage, but that doesn't, you know, suffocate my skin. So far, Kia Wise only had a cream foundation and I have not been the biggest fan of that cream foundation. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out well for me for my combo skin. Some of the claims on here are certified organic, light to medium coverage, all skin types. Use a little for a fresh faced luminous glow. Add more for a natural looking medium coverage that smooths, evens and perfects. It's super gentle on skin and has a long lasting, hydrating, comfortable wear. Thanks to the addition of ingredients like certified organic chamomile water, hyaluronic acid, a blend of cold pressed oils, natural waxes. For everyone out there struggling with coconut ingredients, this is not coconut free. We do have coconut alkanes, we do have the cocoa, caprylate, caprate, caprylic, capric, triglyceride, so that's all derived from coconuts. The only thing that um, might be a little bit concerning in this foundation is the perfume. Um, it's the last ingredient, it's a fragrance, but I read somewhere that Kia Weiss, um, their perfume is actually derived from essential oils, so everything is super natural, super organic, no synthetic fragrances whatsoever. So even if they add perfume, it's a very natural perfume. Now, does that mean that your skin might not react? No, of course not, it doesn't. I mean, you can react to sort of anything. I'm just saying, it's uh, although it's marked as perfume, it is a natural sort of ingredient. Okay, so let's have a look at their shade range. I feel like their shade range is all right. It's 24 shades. I have the shade F120. That shade is called Weightless. I picked up the shade because I think I had the same shade in my concealer. The shade is uh, described as a fair with warm pink undertones shade. Um, it's a really good shape match. I like it. I'm a huge fan of this packaging. I really like this sort of milky glass. It looks very sleek, very elegant. But I'm just wondering if Kia Wise is going to come up with something innovative to refill this foundation or not. I'm going to put back my hair. I used a brush yesterday. I always have um, a sponge ready at hand though, in case I want to tap it in. Now, the only thing that bothered me a little bit with this packaging was honestly this dropper. I feel like this dropper really doesn't pick up much product. I don't know. It's just a little bit annoying. So the way I like to do this is I like to take my makeup palette and then just literally get it up here. You know what? It's almost easier to just take the bottle and just, you know, pour it out like that. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I basically poured out that much, 
it's gonna run. You can see how runny this is. It's super runny. So I'm just gonna apply what I had on my finger here now. I'm gonna take a foundation brush, just a densely packed buffing brush, and we're just gonna apply the first layer. So this is how it looks with only one layer of the foundation. Now mind you guys, I did not use a lot of product. So I feel like with only one thin layer of this foundation, you're going to get a very luminous sort of finish, but you're also going to get like sheer coverage. I feel like most of my redness still pokes through and it's not really that flattering in terms of finish right now so I'm definitely gonna try and build this up a little bit more because I still have a lot of product in here that I still want to use and yeah let's see how far we can push this coverage. So this is basically how much I build up this foundation. I feel like that's with about two layers. Now, in terms of coverage, it did do a really nice job for this being somewhat more of a sort of sheer foundation that you can build up. You can definitely build this up too. I would say this is a solid medium coverage, like most definitely. I mean, looking at myself right now, it looks... All right. I mean, considering how red I was on my chin, my skin still looks like skin. I mean, I can still see most of the redness, so I do have to go in with a concealer. The only thing I will say, though, is this is very, very luminous, you guys. It is very luminous, very glowy, very shiny. Now, I am personally not the biggest fan of this type of foundation worn like that because I do get oily, especially around here. So I cannot wear this foundation without powder, right? But thank God it does react very nicely with powder so I can powder this down. But without powder, I would be lost. I would not like this finish whatsoever. But that's just a personal thing. So if you like luminous, glowy, sort of more dewy foundations that really don't feel heavy, I think you would love this because it is very lightweight on my skin. The fragrance... It kind of smells similar to their concealer, but it doesn't smell as potent as that concealer. That did not smell nice. This one, it smells okay. Yeah, it kind of smells like almond oil. I think maybe that's the smell. It smells a little bit of almond. Looking up close, did kind of a nice job not to cling on too much to my dry spots because I always feel like with very lightweight foundations, sometimes that's what, what happens, you know? They just cling on to dry patches. This one does not really do that. I mean, I have a little bit of dry patches around here where I do have my little problem zone. And I think it's still okay. I mean, I've seen, I've definitely seen worse. So in that sense, the foundation is on. It looks nice. It's very glowy. I, I cannot wear it like that. I need to powder this down. But before we're doing that, I actually do want to go in with a concealer. So in my other video uh, where I showed you my new makeup, uh, it's called New Clean Beauty. I'm going to link it up in the cards. I showed you guys this concealer by Kiawise. I did not like it. I don't like it. I probably will never use it again. That's how much I dislike it. So I'm not going to use that uh, just because, you know, it's not going to do anything for me. Nothing good. 
Um, so what I want to use though is the Erin's Faces Radiant Firming Concealer of this in the shade Magnolia. Oh, this is an amazing spot concealer. This is like a very clean dupe for my Hourglass concealer. It's so good. So I'm just going to spot conceal with this concealer. I cannot use this on my under eye. Unfortunately, it's too thick of a formula, but it works so well on my spots. So I do have a little bit more of a problem zone today on my chin. So I'm going to just give some extra coverage to that area and then the rest for my under eye i'm going to use a different concealer but i'm just gonna blend this out i'm going to be very extra today with concealing my eye area so for my under eye i'm going to go in with the juice beauty phyto pigments perfecting concealer I have this in the shade 08 cream. This concealer is magic for my under eye area. I love it. I don't like it on my spots because the very first ingredient in this is coconut oil. So I don't really like to put it on acne or anything, but I love it for my under eye area. It's like one of the only freaking concealers that does not crease. And there are only a few and this is so dang full coverage and it just looks perfect for my under eye. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to blend this out now with a brush and then I'm going to use another concealer for my lid, for my eyelid. So my under eye area is concealed. Oh, I love this Juice Beauty concealer. It's so good. So for my upper eye, I'm going to use the Virtuous Veal Concealer and Eye Primer by Lila B. This is the shade Be Vibrant. This is the best eye primer in the world. I love this. So I'm just going to take one little dot on each eye. <laughs> The way I like to set this concealer on my upper lid, because you guys, my lids are oily the house. I am using the 14E Cosmetics Aloe Nourish Prime and Set Powder, but I'm only going to use this powder to set the concealer on top of my eyelids. I'm not going to use this powder for anything else, because I do find that sometimes it does not work on other parts of my face, but it works so well for my eyelid. Now that I've powdered my eyelids, I still want to powder everything down because I do look super shiny, super luminous, and I don't necessarily like that. So yeah, let's set my face. So this is their translucent powder and this retails for $58. Now the $58 are literally if you pick up the iconic edition. If you pick up the red edition paper packaging, it's going to be $44 and the refill is $36. And this is one of the best freaking setting powders I've tried in my entire life. Like it's so good. I have no words for this. You know what? And actually I like using this powder also for my under eye area. So first off, I'm going to set my under eye and then I'm going to dust this powder all over my face. I just love how this powder makes the makeup look. Now, in terms of foundation, I like this. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup on my skin. It feels very, very lightweight. Um, the finish now with the powder is stunning. I think this looks pretty flawless considering also the poor condition that my skin health was in today. This made my skin look pretty damn nice i think that's everything that i wanted to say about the base product so yeah you guys let's move on to the fun part and let's add some colors onto my cheeks 
So let's start off with bronzes. So Kiwis does have a powder bronzer. However, that powder bronzer does contain carmine. So I did not pick that one up, although I would have loved to try it. So I did pick up their cream bronzer. So this is the Kiwis Cream Glow Bronzer in the shade Dazzling and this retails for $56. So $56 for the iconic packaging. $40 for the red edition and $32 for the refill pan. Now I have the shade Dazzling, this uh, cream bronzer. Ugh, you guys, this is one of these products you can tell that I've been trying and trying and I just don't like it. For some reason, this shade looks very unflattering on me. This is the shade. It is very sparkly very golden and the cream formula i don't know i just i'm not a big fan of this cream bronzer unfortunately this does not work for me i know some other people that did not enjoy this product that much so hopefully i'm not alone with my opinion that this bronzing cream is just it's not it i don't like the shade dazzling um and the formula it looks patchy on my skin every time i put it on i immediately regret it that being said i actually want to show you something that i truly love though and that just looks very similar and that's the tower 28 bronzino in the shade west coast this is incredible this is one of my favorite cream bronzers in the world it is so pretty um the undertone amazing it just kind of works so well with my skin tone and also the formula works so well on powders i mean it's just beautiful uh such a nice formula i love to take this on a densely packed angled brush This always works. It also works to contour my nose with. It just looks so smashing. I really like the undertone of this Bronzino bronzer. I don't know what it is, but it's almost, it almost has like this neutral sort of almost red sort of undertone. I don't know, it's just so pretty. But uh, let's move on to a Kia Wise product that I actually truly love. So this is the Kia Wise Cream Blush and this retails for $56. So again, $56 for the iconic packaging, this metal packaging right here. If you want the red edition, the paper packaging, that's gonna retail for $40. So you do have that option and the refill is $32. Now I have this blush in the shade Abundance. Now this is a vegetarian blush. This does not contain carmine. Please do be aware that most of their blushes do contain carmine. I think they have three shades that are actually vegetarian where there's no carmine, but this still does contain beeswax. So just make sure to double check um, what shade you want to pick if carmine is one of your concerns. Honestly, I love this. This is such a beautiful cream formula. I don't know, this is so different from the bronzer. I have no explanation for it, but this formula is stunning. The color is beautiful. Let's apply it. That was a dream to blend out. So let's move on to their highlighter. So in terms of highlighter, I do have a cream highlighter and I do have their new powder highlighter. Now this is the Kia Wise Cream Glow Highlighter in the shade Radiance and this retails for $56. And this is the Kia Wise Powder Highlighter and this retails for $58. You guys, I love both of these. I really do love them, I think. With their cream product, they also have another shade. Now I have the shade Radiance. It is a very, very pretty highlighting shade. It's almost uh, a pearlescent sort of icy pink undertone. 
it's so pretty it's very very beautiful it does reflect light so nicely i just don't like it on my nose but that's uh, the problem with most cream highlighters they don't work well on my nose on the tip of my nose i always kind of prefer a powder so i'm thinking for today i'm going to be using the powder highlighter their newest highlighter um, this is the shade beam they do have two different shades with this product now this is definitely their icier shade this has also sort of um, more of a pearlescent sort of undertone to it um, very icy very pretty does have a certain amount of shimmer in it and it does reflect the light very very nicely Now this highlighter is so stunning. I truly, truly love it. I mean, it just reflects the light so nicely. It's honestly a really, really nice powder. Also, I love it on the tip of my nose. It looks so smooth. Also, it doesn't accentuate texture in an unflattering way. I feel like every sort of highlighter is gonna do that to a certain degree, but this one really does not enhance your texture if that's what you're looking for. From this point onwards, there's only gonna be two more products by Kia Weiss that I have, and both of them are pencils. One of them is an eye pencil, the other one is a lip pencil. So the other product I did wanna mention that I'm not gonna be using today because I just did not like it and I don't ever wanna use it again, is this Kia Weiss Lengthening Mascara. This was one of the worst mascaras I've ever tried in my entire life. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, the reason why I did not like this is, first off, it didn't do anything. Second of all, it glued my lashes together to a point where I struggled to get the makeup off my face um, at the end of the day. So, in that sense, getting this off my eye was a disaster. I almost ripped out my lashes. It was really weird because this just glued the heck out of my lashes and I think it's a pretty pricey mascara you guys but it just doesn't work for me I don't like it and um, I will never be using this ever again I'm gonna finish off the look with some really really nice products so just continue watching and don't forget we're gonna put this face to a wear test so I'm gonna come back and let you know my thoughts and my feelings so let's start with my eyebrows actually I'm gonna use my hourglass arc brow volumizing fiber gel in the shade Warm Brunette. I don't even need to fill them in. I mean, I can definitely live like that. Let's move on to eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow today, I do want to go into my Tiny Marvels eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. This is a collaboration by Mal Thompson and Sydney Grace. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful palette. So let's actually start the look with uh, the shade Walk and Stick. It's like almost like a green brown, very cool toned. I'm gonna take that into my crease. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the shade Tree Hopper. Okay, so my next step would be to go in with the shade Death Mod. I'm just gonna take this on a little bit of a smaller brush. So I'm gonna take this shade right here and put it on my outer crease. So let's actually use the Kia Wise Eye Pencil in black. I, I don't think I liked it that much. Let's see. I mean, right now it went on all right. I just, I'm kind of fearful that this might water up a little bit and then disappear. So let's actually drag a shade down. I'm gonna drag down the shade Death Mod. I'm gonna take that and drag this down to my lower lash line. So I'm also going to just dip into the shade Spider and take that a little bit on my lower lash line as well. But I'm going to keep it really at the edge 
so around here i feel like my look is coming together now i do want to go into this crazy duochrome sort of color called scarab i really want to use that today um it looks like an apricot sort of blue green shift shade i don't know it just looks so stunning i don't know how it's gonna look like but i just want to go all in and i'm gonna apply that onto my lids <laughs> For all that I know, this is a very dark look, so I definitely do want to brighten up this look a little bit. So I'm go just going to take my finger and go into the shade Fire Buds. Now that's this beautiful golden green sort of metallic right here. Okay, that looks so stunning. But this look would not be complete without the shade Wap. Of course, we're going to play around with this shade right here. So I'm going to highlight my brow bone, my inner corners and everything else that just needs some highlighting. Okay, you guys, so my eye look is done. Oh, I love this eyeshadow palette so much. I'm so happy I got my hands on one of them. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by this eyeshadow palette. I mean, just could only recommend this. It's so amazing. So because I don't want to use the Kia Weiss mascara today, the lengthening one, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just going to take another mascara that I like and that is truly lengthening. So today I'm just going to use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, one of my favorite mascaras. So we're gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna apply the mascara and then we'll move on with another Kiwis product. So my mascara is on. I really like this Ilia mascara. I think it does some phenomenal things to my lashes in general. And uh, yeah, oh my gosh, I'm still wearing these clips. So let's move on to the last step. Let's move on to my lips. So this is the Kia Wise lip pencil and this retails for $30. So basically I have the shade Saturate. Now this is a vegan lip pencil. So I'm going to line my lips with a pencil and then I'm going to apply a lipstick. But I don't have a Kia Wise lip product other than this lip liner because they all contain carmine. But I'm just going to line my lips first. <laughs> Honestly, I love the shade of this lip pencil because it's so hard to find a good brown lip pencil. This is super soft, very creamy. And I actually do want to go in with my Lawless lipstick. I'm going to take this beautiful nude shade Suede. It's one of my favorite shades and I think it's going to work. <music> All right, you guys, that's it. That's my finished look with Kia Weiss and some other products. Uh, I have to say, I really love the way this look turned out. So I'm gonna be back in around six to eight hours to see how this makeup holds up on my face. So right now I'm really, really happy with the outcome and yeah, we shall see each other in a couple of hours then. So I am back now. It is past midnight. I'm so ready to go to bed. So let's have a look at the makeup. I mean, the makeup has been on for 10 hours now. All I'm saying is the coverage has disappeared quite a lot. I mean, considering how lightweight this foundation really is and how it actually fell on the skin, it felt so lightweight. Um, that's one big plus. I mean... I really like the feel of the foundation though. I think it still does a great job in not completely losing it on me, especially around my nose. I still feel like it looks okay. I mean, it's not the most flattering look, but then again, you know, it has been on for a long time. So I think overall, this foundation is definitely worth a try. Just be aware 
that the nature of this foundation it's not going to be super long wearing you know and it's not going to be full full coverage you're going to deal with some buildable light to medium coverage and with some sort of six hour wear time which is okay i still feel like my skin looks like skin and it looks okay considering how long this has been on so you guys that's it that's my check-in i'll definitely be playing around more with this foundation on my channel so this one will definitely make a comeback and yeah if you enjoyed this review please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up that would be very much appreciated also if you have not subscribed yet you just have to hit that subscribe button. I would absolutely love to have you here. You can also ring the bell to stay notified about my upcoming videos. And I shall be seeing you on here very, very soon again. So please take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.